Uh, everybody say yee <laughs> Wow, well, that was good. You guys can do it with a little twang. Say yee we, we are, in fact, in Southern Korea, right? That's right. <laughs> you know what yee means in Texan? It means amen. So, so like, if, if you uh, get blessed today well, in our time and you believe something, you want to say amen, just say yee I just need the capo real quick. Hey, everybody, let's all stand up. And uh, I just want to say thank you to, uh, yeah, thank you to the university for letting, this is my wife, Kathy, by the way. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! When are we? Yeah, I do. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to get hooked up here real fast. And uh, we're going to do a song that um, actually my son wrote. Uh, you guys are all university students. I, I mean, the age here would be right around, what, 20 years old? 45. 45. <laughs> wow. You'll notice there were no yeehaws on that one. <laughs> well, here's the deal. We believe in raising up a whole new generation of worshipers. And we believe our job as a university is to work ourselves out of a job. And uh, we need somebody to give us a job right now. But we're, uh, we're believing this, that the world is going to be filled with the glory of God. Amen? <laughs> Amen. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Come on, one, one more time. We believe the world, the whole earth, is going to give glory to Jesus. talking about right there. Okay, guys. We're almost done. And this guy goes. Okay, my son wrote a song called I Love to Be With You. And uh, it's pretty simple. And it just goes like this. As soon as I tune here. I love to be with you. Okay, let's just get to, now, that's pretty simple. The basics of a worship song, keep it simple. Uh, yeah, that, you can't get much more simple than that. I love to be with you. I just need a little more volume on the guitar if I can. We in there? Can you guys hear that okay? Yeah! All right, now. <laughs> just listen to the, these words. When I'm walking, I hear Jesus talking. When I'm singing, Jesus dances with me. You guys believe that? You give me reason, Lord, to breathe again every day, my Lord. Oh, yes, you do. Well, in fact, Lord, you make my breath possible. Hey, yeah. Oh, Lord, and you, you're like a flower blooming in the spring. And you are like the colors of an autumn leaf. And you are like the sea and all its majesty. And that is why I love to be with you. Say, I love to be with you, yeah. Here's where you do the yeehaws. Yeehaw! Yeah. Now watch as you sit. You whisper your love every morning. Does Jesus do that to you? Yeah. Oh, Lord. And you cradle my head in the evening. Yes, you do, my Lord. You give me reason, Lord, to dance around with hand on university on. After I have been out in the cold, saying you, you're like a flower blooming in the spring. 
bringing you are like the colors of an autumn leaf that you are like the sea in all its majesty and that is why I love to be with you so now we say Now, just your voices say, I love to be with you. Yeah, amen. I, oh, I love to be with you, Lord. Yeah, I love to be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to be with you. Yeah, I, I love to be with you. Oh, I love to be with you. All right, now, there's an amazing thing that happens when we worship. The church looks better, yeah? People, when, when we're lost in love with Jesus, somehow the church looks better. So we can say to each other, now I know people hate it when worship leaders say, turn to the person next to you, look in their eyes, and say, I Say it to somebody, say yeah. I, I love to be with you, yeah. I love to be with you. Woo! Now let's say it to Jesus, say it. I, I love to be with you, yeah, yeah. I love to be with you, yeah. One more time, to Jesus we say. I, I, I love to be with you. You have impacted this school, <laughs> the Texan man. Let's say it to Jesus. You are like a flower blooming in the spring. You are like the flowers that bloom in the spring. Colors in the autumn leaf. Oh, Jesus, your light. The sea in all its majesty. And that is why. Oh, Lord, I, that is why. We love to be with you. we thank you that all around us is spring just brings the earth to life father we think about how you you bring us to life lord lord we thank you that you reached out your hand to us lord when we were walking far away from you you sought us out lord you found us lord god and you picked us up and you brought us home thank you. We love being with you, King Jesus. And we give you honor in this house today. Amen. Amen. You love your king.
Nice. Right on cue. That was good. Well, blessings on you guys. Uh, why don't you have a seat just for a moment? We have a few minutes in our session. And I'm just going to hand my guitar here to, okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Kathy and I just have this amazing privilege of going around the world and listening to you guys, listening to the church lead worship. It's, it's a sound that is amazing. And uh, just actually just now we were down in the, in the chapel for the Koreans, uh, and uh, it was just a, just a phenomenal thing to hear them worshiping God in Korean. I tell people all the time, a story that, took, that happened to me in Seoul, Korea a few years ago. But I want to um, read a verse of scripture to you. Or actually, I'll just quote it to you. It's found in Corinthians. And it says this. Eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. You know the verse I'm talking about? It hasn't even entered into the heart of man. The things that God has prepared for who? For who? When the, yeah, for those, it says, in, it says in the scripture, for those who love him. We just got finished singing. I love to be with you. And you know what resounds back from heaven? The sound of God saying, I love to be with you. Because the Bible says it's not that we love God. This is, not the, this is not the most beautiful thing. Although when I look out, as we look out on the church and see the amazing beauty of God's people worshiping him that's not the greatest beauty the greatest beauty is this that god so loved us that's the greatest amazing thing god's love for us and the bible says that god shouts back at you and he's doing that i believe today in response to the song we just sang oh lord we love being with you and god says you know what i hasn't seen you you have never you cannot dream ear hasn't heard you've never even heard the sounds yet that you're going to hear it's not you you could spend all day long dreaming and trying to think it up but god says there is nothing that you could do to dream as big as god has for those the dreams that god has for those who love him right in this house today your future is amazing and i'm here and kathy we are both here to say to you, wait until you see what God has purposed for you. It will absolutely amaze you. It was in, oh gosh, back in 19, you guys probably weren't even born then, I think. It was 19, <laughs> 83. Were you guys born yet? Oh, Wow. So before you were born, God had, you know, I, I grew up with, you know, my dad, as is, is, I was exposed today, was a singer, and he still is. He likes to sing country western songs. So every song that I write, he adds his own little sort of country feel to it, which, which is uh, agony for me. But anyway, I, I walk with him in this. And uh, one day he said, he sang a song to me that, that's one of my favorite songs, and he sang it with a country twang, and I was, I was just, oh, Father, help me. You know, a father in heaven. And, uh, and he, he said, you sing it your way, I'm going to sing it my way. And uh, so, okay. But um, I had done uh, a couple of songs. I'd written a couple of songs, and several people had said to me, Bob, you know, yeah, you, you know, you ought you to gotta get these recorded. And my, my dream since I was a kid was to sing, you know. Uh, I mean, when I was just like eight years old, I used to write these really corny songs. And, and I would plan a whole, like, um, actually built a stage for my garage. And my sister and I would, would put these songs together and we would practice the songs. And we'd go give out tickets to the neighborhood free. <laughs> Of course. And we would, uh, you know, we would say, please come tonight. We're going to do a show, you know. 
Well, nobody ever came, but, <laughs> but we still did our little shows. And way back then, you know, it's just an amazing thing how God dreams for us when we're not dreaming. Isn't that awesome? When, you, when your heart's discouraged or when you've lost your vision or whatever, you know, we all go through those seasons. But when you're in that time, God, aren't you glad the Bible says, even when we are faithless, God remains what? Faithful. Because the Bible says he cannot be untrue to himself. God always dreams for you. He just keeps on going even when you're in the middle of, when, even when you give up and say, forget it. This is too big for me. I can't do it. I'm discouraged. God just says, keep going. And so, you know, I, I had uh, done a little demo tape, you know, just a little. It, it was back in the days of cassettes. Do you remember those? <laughs> yes, that was back in that day. And I, I had finished up these, these, like, three or four songs, and I, I gave them to a friend of mine. And I said, would you, would you listen to this, and would you pr just, just pray for me? Because I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of nervous about it. I don't know if I should be doing this. It was my dream. I wanted to do it. But I just thought, you know, I don't want to make an assumption here. So he listened to a few of the songs, and he said, man, Bob, I want to pray for you. And so Kathy and I were sitting there, and he puts his hand on us, and he says, oh, God, hallelujah. He was all really excited, you know. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you know. He was praying one of those nervous prayers, you know. And I was, wah, just kind of going, man, this is heavy. And he says, uh, wow, Bob, I, I'm just, I'm seeing you. You're, you're like standing in front of thousands of people. And I'm, and I'm thinking, Man, dude, you just had too much coffee or something because this is, I wasn't really, I just wanted you to pray for me, that's all. But he starts prophesying, you know, I see you in stadiums full of people, thousands of people worshiping God. You know, and my, and you know what's funny about this is that I was laughing inside going, <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know, isn't it amazing that, that the father of the faithful, Abraham, we, he's the father of faith. Do you know what happened when God told his wife that she was going to have a baby? She said, yeah, give up. Well, um, she, she laughed. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> she was pretty old. And we all know the story from there on out. Wow, God in his faithfulness brought it to pass. Well, I forgot that prophecy. I, I completely forgot about it. Again, God in his goodness, God in his faithfulness. You know, he just says, you know, it's okay, Bob. You know, I will be faithful. You just keep walking forward. And you know, God has brought Kathy and I here to this university for a reason. This place is packed full of people who want to have dreams. It's you. And when you're a believer, when you're a believer, you cannot help but dream. Because God, Christ lives in you, and God is full of dreams for you. And when you invite him into your life, what happens is you start having amazing dreams. Now, the challenge comes when, when it doesn't seem to be happening. But here's the word to you today. God is faithful. Would you say that with me? God is faithful. He cannot fail. And when God makes promises to you and when God fills you with dreams, and don't make them small. Dream big, university. Come on, guys, just go for it because you have a God who is, who is ruling in heaven. This God, sovereign king of the universe. There is nothing, nothing, nothing too hard or too big for him. It's true. What are you dreaming about? What are you thinking about? God has so much in store for you, and there's, nothing, there's no limitation to what God can do. Here's, this is my wife, Kathy, again. I just want to tell you about another story. Uh, we told uh, Dave this morning about this, but um, we have a relationship with the church in Singapore. It's actually our home church, and they had an amazing story. How many of you are engineering students? A few, yeah? Okay, well, here's a story for you guys. In a, just for the engineering students, nobody else. Now, Bob's talking about songs, and sometimes, you know, these dreams, you think, oh, that's just in ministry stuff. Well, here's a dream that is pretty incredible. There was a, a man at our church in Singapore owned a pool service company, 
you know, went to, I guess he worked on swimming pools. Anyways, just to fix them up and that type of stuff, people had a swimming pool, he'd go and take care of them. Well, there was a, a brand new, iconic, landmark type of hotel to be built in Singapore, and they were putting bids out for their swimming pools. So the guy, for whatever reason, said, I'm going to put in a bid for that. He was not an engineering student. I don't think he knows engineering, but he put in a bid for this swimming pool. And from one reason to another, his bid was accepted. Now, it's not just a swimming pool, but if you see any photos of Singapore, the most recent, most amazing building that's there, the newest, most amazing building, is uh, Marina Bay Sands. It's a, con a casino hotel, and it's three towers. And across the top, around the 60-something floor, is this swimming pool. Up here, way up, spanning the three towers, an infinity pool over the city of Singapore at the Marina Bay. This man, who really didn't know much of anything except how to work on pools, ended up designing and having this pool built. Talk about dreams that are beyond you that are actually impossible unless God gets in. Don't make God little. He's so big. I love it. Yeah. I love the fact that God arranged that a Christian pool builder would top off a casino. Okay? So I can imagine, you know, this guy hired Christians all across the top. Three towers, 60 stories, stories tall, is this swimming pool where these guys, as they were working, were going, Oh, God, Jesus, just pour out your power on this place in Jesus' name. Amen? What a God. What a God. This guy had no expectation of it to happen. Even when he was probably going, oh, this, this can't happen. And it did because of God's faithfulness. Say it one more time. My God is faithful. God is faithful. Well, I will never forget a few years after that man prophesied over me. I got an invitation to sing in Korea. And I was, wow, that's, that's awesome. I'd love to. So I accepted the invitation, and Kathy and I came to, it was in Seoul, and they put us in a nice hotel. We were in the hotel waiting to go and have, um, you know, to lead the worship. And I didn't really ask him about the meeting. I just thought I'd go lead worship and then come back to the hotel. And he comes to no knock on the door, and he says, okay, Bob, it's time to go. Hurry, we're, we're running a little late. Let's get there. And I said, oh, okay. And he goes, yeah, we've, we've just got uh, to get to the stadium because people are starting to fill in. And I said, stadium? And he says, uh, well, yeah, it's, uh, our meeting today is at Olympic Stadium. I said, you're kidding me. He said, no, 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 it's an Olympic Stadium. There are 80,000 people waiting. And I get on the top, I get onto that stage, and I'm standing there. And, you know, it's kind of weird when you're standing on stage and you can see your face plastered on the jumbotron, you know. And we're singing away in Korean, Father in heaven, how we love you. And I'm standing there, and I hear God going, I told you so. <laughs> God prophesied to me. And said, son, I want you to be in front of thousands of people declaring my name. Way back, nine years old, standing on a stage in front of nobody. God, <laughs> God was planting a seed in my heart, a dream. Something I hadn't even thought of. In fact, I didn't want. If somebody had told me, I want you to sing in front of a stadium, I would have gone, no, 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 no. I I'll just kind of, I'll just do a little church somewhere, you know. God's dreams are bigger than yours, but they're yours because he made them for you. And so I want to speak, Kathy and I both. In fact, I'm gonna, when we close our time, I want Kathy to come up. We're going to pray over you, believing God that you are going to change the world. That's it right there. One more time. You are going to change the world the destiny of whole nations. There could be presidents sitting in this room. 
You better be friendly to that person ne sitting next to you. Yeah. My brother-in-law has an amazing story. He's actually Kevin Costner's double in Hollywood. I'll sign his autograph for you, you know. <laughs> amazing story of how he got there. But you know, he never dreamed it, never dreamed it. But he was a worship leader in a church, and God stirred in his heart and said, hey, I want to do something great with you. And he ended up having great influence. Now he works with Kevin Costner, with, um, what's his name? That famous actor, Clint Eastwood. And uh, he's right next to them. And one of the most amazing stories is Kevin knows that my brother-in-law is a believer. And in the evenings, my brother would go out and take his guitar and sing worship songs to God. And one day, Kevin came up to my brother-in-law, gave him a brand new, beautiful guitar and said, Hey, Mark, I just want to give this to you because I hear you singing. I hear you singing these songs. And uh, they just, they're, they're so great. They really bring peace to the set. It's a worshiper. Now, I'm not endorsing all of Kevin's films or Clint Eastwood's films, okay? Just so you know. Dream big. Dream big. God says, eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. It hasn't even come into your mind yet. The things that God has prepared for those that love him. That's God's promise for you today. And I pray that tonight, when you go home and you, maybe you have some time with the Lord or you have some time to write in your diary, write down that scripture. Write it down and say, Father, God, I believe. Help my unbelief. If you're like me and you say, yeah, right. You're just saying that, Bob. It, all, it feels good. It makes everybody feel good and you know, gets them all worked up and excited and all that stuff. When you hear those things, just say, I believe. Help my unbelief, Lord. And God honors that. Amen. Amen. Hey, would you stand with us? Kathy, I'm going to ask Kathy to come up. We want to pray over you. Pray God's dreams. Pray God's heart and vision for you so that we can see the nations change. Father, in your name right now, Lord, we lift up every one of these students. We thank you for your word that promises that our, your dreams are bigger than ours. And Lord, so I ask you right now for every one of these young men and women, Lord, their destiny is in your hands. You have purposed for them, as is the motto of this university, to change the world. And so, dear Father, in your name, I'm asking you that you'll put some of these people in stadiums to honor your name, that you put some of them in high places of authority, Lord, leadership and politics and business, Lord God, in the arts and entertainment, Lord God, in Hollywood, amen. We are asking you, Lord, in these days to raise up an army of people who say, I love to be with you, and in doing so, Lord, walk in their destiny of greatness. Can you say, yee-haw? Is that, is that, does that feel a little, uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be impolite, but amen. say amen. amen. Now say yeehaw. Woo! Yeehaw. Amen. Hey, I want to do that song one more time. I love to be with you. And, uh, and let's just tell the Lord, man, let's just speak that out to him, how much we love him. Amen. Amen. All right, here we go. You were like a flower blooming in the spring You are like the colors of an autumn leaf You are like the sea in all its majesty And that is why I love to be with you this sin
time. You are like the flowers. You are like the flowers blooming in the spring. You are like the colors of the autumn leaf. You are like the sea in all its majesty. And that is why I love to be love to be with you Lord I love to be love to be with you Lord I love to be with you oh yeah I love to be with you yeah one more Amen, amen. Yeah. <laughs>